I have been sick for more than a month and I'm so happy today I finally started to feel much much better than before. Sickness is not the problem. Sickness causes anxiety. That's the problem of sickness for me right now. That's what I want to talk with you today. I'm working on my dissertation right now. I'm in a doctoral program in a university and my field is philosophy of religions. Basically I'm writing the philosophy of the Lotus Sutra from the viewpoint of the Chinese school called Tiantai. And I have an upcoming so-called midpoint review of my dissertation where I need to submit three chapters of my dissertation and show it to my ad advisors, uh, advisor and readers and uh, have them read in advance and have a discussion for two hours or something which is gonna be probably the end of May. Two chapters I'm already almost done and uh, the third one I'm working on right now, about to be working on right now, <coughs> is nothing. But I need to submit that draft to my advisor by the end of this week. That means I only have five days left. Because of the impending time, that gives me a tremendous sense of nervousness and anxiety. For the last month or so, I've been only able to work uh, depending on the day, but sometimes only 30 minutes. Sometimes three hours, sometimes five hours, but only a couple hours basically. So it's been really miserable. How to organize a paper. That takes like a month for me normally. But the question is, why am I expressing anxiety to you now? And that's a practice of the Lotus Sutra version of the Four Noble Truth. So let me explain. Well, what is Four Noble Truth? In a nutshell, it's very easy. How to be aware and accept the fact that you are suffering from something right now and to do something about it. Do, to do something, not to change others, but basically to change your own desire by through reflection. Okay, in the Lotus Sutra, that's really articulated in a way that the first of the Four Noble Truths, which is to say truth of suffering, which is mean, which is mean to be aware and to accept the fact that you are suffering, that is achieved through the practice of expressing your concerns and anxiety to the audience. Kind of the Lotus Sutra version of coming out as a practice of Four Noble Truths, very interesting. So if you take a look at the very beginning of chapter 3 of the Lotus Sutra, it is Shariputra, one of the chief disciples, one of the, smart, the smartest guy in the entire you know, Lotus Sutra assembly the Buddha's disciples, expresses his own concern and deep anxiety that continued for many years. So, you know, Shariputra is the leader of the Sangha <coughs> and he is the first one who expresses his own concern. You know, if you imagine a comp if you're a leader, a company or a group of something, CEO or anyone, or like a, a family leader or a group leader, a friend leader. And I tend to imagine like leaders should conceal, should not tell their con concerns or anxiety so that the transmission of the an anxious mind wouldn't be happening to the minds of others who work for them. But in the Lotus Sutra motif, it's very different, right? Sort of the leader is the first one who practice expressing their own anxiety of their own practice. He, leaders are the first one to practice their own honesty, which you know creates the sense of bonds actually with people around them. So the leaders make others in the group also take leadership and uh, sort of articulate the sense of equality. Okay, nobody is superior or inferior in this group. We work together because we are the team. That's the definition of Sangha in a Buddhist sense and the Lotus Sutra. Interesting, right? So it's okay. Leaders express their concerns. So I love to hear your concerns and anxiety that's going on right now or that you used to experience in the, in the past through the comments section. That's how we practice the Lotus Sutra today. Because what happens next after the Shariputra expresses his own concern? In the beginning of chapter 4, the next chapter of the Lotus Sutra, that's four elder Shravaka leaders who then express their, their own sense, a tremendous sense of anxieties that they used to have for many, many years. Right?
So leaders take leadership even in expressing their concerns, and the result of that honest practice is amazing. I mean, expressing their own concern and anxiety is not just complaining things, but it's you know it's sort of showing the uh, their own reflection, contemplation about their own path. And be express, uh, be honest about their own path, and invite other people to show their own concerns as well. In other, in other words, sort of showing your anxiety, telling your anxiety with others, helps other people to feel okay and express their own concerns and share the concern. What happens? The stories, many stories of anxiety and concerns are shared. We start to extra care about one another, right? That's excellent way of you know、um, building a sense of community, strengthening the sense of friendship with others. So that's how the Lotus Sutra creates the community, and that's I really want to promote、uh, as a way of you know、uh, building a friendship and.、Uh, Growing a sense of community together—that's how we develop together. Buddhism is not complete tradition. Buddhism is ever growing with us. We are growing Buddhism. That's what the channel is about. That's why the channel is called the Lotus Sutra Lab. Lab is where we experiment things, right? And we discover unexpectedly sometimes, or hopefully oftentimes, some new dimension of what we are investing in, investigating right now. In other words, we are creating the new pages. Of the Lotus Sutra, Lotus Sutra has twenty-eight chapters, you know, total. But in other words, we are creating chapter twenty-nine of the Lotus Sutra, you and I together with other viewers. So, if you feel, <coughs> excuse me, this is getting over, it's coming coughing and so on. If you feel comfortable sharing your stories of anxieties or concerns that you're having going on right now, or you used to have in the past. I love to hear. Maybe it's better for your own safety,、uh, for each other, not to mention specify some of these individual names and so on. But I want to hear your concerns and stories of concerns and anxiety. And how you are making that moment of anxiety or concern into your own Buddhist practice? Like to me, expressing this concern is my way of to be clear. About what exactly my concern is about, you know. Before I start to record this video, I was thinking out like I'm anxious because I'm sick. That's not exactly right, right? I'm anxious not directly because I'm sick. I'm anxious because I'm sick, and sickness causes. Deprives of time for me to write my dissertation. So being unable to advance my dissertation writing causes my anxiety, right? <laughs> That's what, how we clarify our purposes and desires. That's the practice of Four Noble Truths. And having us together, being us together with you, and listening to one another. Also, by the way, thank you for listening to my stories and anxiety. And you listen to me so well. I owe you something. So now let me listen to you, your anxiety and, and、uh, concerns. If you feel comfortable sharing in the comments below, expressing your story of anxiety can be your body self practice. Do you have this kind of experience? So your friend called you. I'm undergoing this. Could you listen to me for an hour or something? And you listen, just to be in the presence of your friends, friend, in that moment. And after you listen to your friend's concern and anxiety for one hour, you actually was helped by that friend who needed help, accidentally, unexpectedly, because you actually had an anxiety for your own as well. But now, no, now you know that your friend. Was also the one who was undergoing the anxiety, even though that friend used to look like actually looks like very fine. So, being aware of the anxiety of the others will help you understand. I thought I was alone in the suffering, but I'm not alone. <coughs> that's how I. That's how I oftentimes 
hear each other's concerns and I express also anxiety in my Lotus Social Lab discussion group that you're in invited as well. Uh, email us anytime and uh, see the description box below. Sharing the story of your anxiety, each other, and listening to those stories, one another, is a powerful practice of getting over, an over anxiety together. You know, if you know you're suffering alone, that's hard because that gives you a sense of loneliness. But if you know that you're not alone in suffering, you're actually suffering with your friends, so many friends, not, not just one friend, so many, many friends are suffering in their own ways, and you are one of them suffering in your own way. Once you know that kind of collectiveness of anxiety and suffering, that they're going uh, universally in our lives, what do you think about this? I find that awareness, the suffering of the other, really helps me to ground myself in my own suffering and to accept, okay, I'm not alone, so let's keep going. If I feel like crushed or and destroyed or something like that, again, I reach out to my friends and I exchange again on my concerns as well. That's how we help one another. So I love to hear your concerns and anxiety stories in the comments below, if you feel comfortable sharing that. And if you share your own stories, I also encourage you to leave your comments and what you learned from the story of the other comments of the viewers, of the other viewers. Please be careful not to give any advice. Let's say somebody is suffering from this and then that's my concern. I don't want you to write like, oh, have you tried this? Because that might give you a solution. Let's not make this comment section for the exchange of solutions, but let's transform that comment section into the site of a bodhisattva listening, bodhisattva compassion, bodhisattva caring. The sense of care, a sense of safe place to share our own concerns. That's what we want to build together in this page and the comment section below. When you share your comments, I love to hear what you learned from the comments of the others. If you feel you're, you're encouraged by the you know story of the others, I'd love to hear that as well. So I give an update in the middle of May, hopefully, and uh, I hope your anxiety will be gone out of you as soon as possible through your own Buddhist practice. Whenever you feel discouraged or something, come back to this page, watch this video again, and we're gonna encourage, continue to encourage one another, and we're gonna accomplish each other's goals. And we will celebrate at the end of your achievement. So if you have your own achievement at any point of your life, come back to this page and leave your comments below, okay? See you next time.